Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial video. If you want to edit your videos and synchronize it to the beat of the music using Filmora 10, stick around and watch this video. Applying music and soundtrack to your video seems to be one of the holy grails when it comes to video editing and content creation. My major tip is to edit the transitions of your video to the beat of the music. I must say this process is a bit time consuming, but thank god to Filmora 10, they provided us an easier way to synchronize our videos to the beat of the music through beat detection. Let me show you how. Alright guys, welcome to Filmora 10. As you can see, we've already got some few videos and clips that we can use for our demonstration. First, you need to go to Audio. I'm going to choose one of the music provided by Filmora. For this demonstration, I'm going to use Living Pulse. Before, I used to edit my videos by listening to the beat of the music. For example, when the beat of the music is like boom, 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 bam, boom, 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 bam, I normally try to synchronize my clips and my videos to the next major beat, for example, in the bam. And that's where I try to insert my video. It makes your video more interesting and it's more engaging. So when you're like boom, 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 bam, there's another clip and it's something new, it's something exciting. Now, how do we access the beat detection feature of Filmora? It's very easy. Let me show you how. Now, you've already selected your music. What I want you to do is right click that and then you can see there it's beat detection. Simply click that and then give it time a bit. And once it's ready, when you drag this music to your timeline, there you have it guys. You can see little markers all around your music and that is where the major beat of the music. Therefore, this makes your editing easier because you just simply have to drag your clips to where the markers are and that saves you a lot of time. Now, if you wanna check some of the features of beat detection, right click the music and you would see beat options. This feature basically tells you how quick you want the beat to be highlighted. For example, you, want, you wanted it to be very quick, let's put two, and then that will adjust it itself. The only thing is it doesn't automatically adjust once your soundtrack is already on the timeline. So basically you have to delete the music to your timeline. Um, so obviously when you drag the music again, you would see a different beat. So you could see it's very well distanced. Beat option number two. Let's see beat option number four. Okay, now if you wanna drag that and compare, you'd see the difference. Two beats have smaller gaps, whereas four beats has a wider gap. Now this depends on how quick you wanted to edit your videos. Obviously, if you've got some few clips that you wanted to change very quickly to a quicker beat, obviously you might wanna choose a smaller number. However, for me, I'll just probably leave it to its normal um, setting and I'll probably just leave it at four. Now this is gonna make my editing easier. I'm just basically gonna drag my clips to the markers where the beats are. Okay, let's go. Now guys, if you have a, a clip that's longer than your beat, you don't necessarily have to make sure you have a clip after each beat. You can, you can basically skip something in between and just make sure that the next clip is basically gonna be within the next marker. Alright guys, before I reveal the final video, please give this video a like and please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to be updated with my future contents. All right, are you ready for the final video? Ready? One, two, let's go. There you have it guys, that's how you sync your videos using beat detection by Filmora 10. Thanks for watching my videos. This has been Clive and I shall see you next time. Bye!